Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hello everyone. My name is Abdul Karim alias from University of Science Malaysia. I just want to make a quick sharing in this video about quill boat. And as you can see here, premium because uh, I have a premium account. I subscribe to the premium account which allow me access to many features and I can add a long document without much limitation. I think for the premium account, the characters number, I think is about 10,000 characters. Anyway, um, there's a, also, a, you can use this for free, but there's a limit on the characters at any one time that you can paste here. Uh, what is Quill, Quill both? Quill, Quill Boat is actually an application which we can use to paraphrase a sentence, a paraphrase, paraphrase a sentence or uh, several sentences in, in one paragraph. And people use this, uh, some, well, the purpose, uh, different people use this for different purpose. Uh, I think a lot of people using this to paraphrase uh, the sentence from uh, a source to avoid plagiarism and you know so they rephrase and then maybe they can add on and paraphrase and rephrase so that it, uh, they can reduce the avoid the, the plagiarism or the similarity in my case i'm writing a book now the title of the book is uh, let me quickly so this is still on chapter, uh, the title of the book is um, 20 Ways to Make Your Student Think. And I'm still writing this book and I hope to finish writing and publish this by mid-August next month. So as you can see here, um, when I write so it's this sentence, for example, and I just write without uh, you know, looking at the structure of the sentence, then um, sometimes it's okay, but sometimes when I read the sentence again, it doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel right. So what I, what I do, I copy the sentence. Of course, it's my own sentence here. So I copy the whole sentence here, or the whole paragraph here, and I go to quick book, and then I just paste it here. And then I can choose from a few of these options here. Currently, it's on expand. So I just, uh, I can choose any of this option here. For free account, you can, I think you, the, the choice, the choices are limited. I think maybe standard and something else. But of course, for premium account, you can get all the options here. So in this case, I like to try between expand, standard, and formal. Usually, I will try between this and sometimes uh, shorten as well. So in this case, I choose expand and I paste the sentence. Then I click paraphrase and let's see how is the outcome. So at some points in the film, certain events will happen and the learners need to make a decision based on their knowledge. They have to think very fast as the timer is ticking as they are deciding the next action to take. This is my original sentence. I don't feel very good about it. And this is the paraphrase one. Certain events will occur during the course of the film and the students will be required to make a decision based on their poor, based on their prior knowledge. So instead of decision based on their knowledge, decision based on prior knowledge. I think I like it. They must act quickly because the clock is ticking. Instead of they have to think very fast as the timer is ticking. Uh, the clock is ticking. I like it. And they must decide what to do next before the time runs out. I think I like it. So I will copy this sentence and I go back to my document and I just, oops, I go back here. Oh, it doesn't copy. Okay. Copy and paste it there. So that's a sentence from the, the paraphrase one. 
So that's very quick one, basically how to use quill bolt, quick quill bolt, quill bolt to paraphrase a sentence. So in my case here, I just write and write, and then if I don't feel the sentence sounds good, I just put it in quill bolt and get quill bolt to help me to come up with some option. If I don't like it, I can try formal. Let's see how it looks like. At various points throughout the film, at some points in the film, certain events will occur prompting learners to make a judgment call. I think quite nice. What about standard? Okay, so it looks quite good. Standard, so if, you, if I put a cursor here, it says a middle ground of changing the input and keeping the meaning. Formal, present yourself in a more sophisticated and professional way. Expand, add more detail and depth to expand sentence length. Shorten, conveys meaning with conciseness and clarity. So I think that's about all that I want to share with you, how I use Quillboard to paraphrase a sentence so that I can get some options as to how to modify the sentence and make it sounds better uh, without much headache. <laughs> so to me, this uh, Quillboard can be used as a writer's assistance, so to speak. So that's all for now. Thank you very much for listening. I hope I have given value for your time.